my god hey guys <laughs> welcome to major slash minor 2019 edition if you guys have not heard i kind of recorded i recorded a major slash minor but there were like a, a lot of things that were missing like a save and uh basically the the music background was not there so i'm hoping that this game is as I, as I said, it should be a completed edition. So, let's start a new game. Let's put it at 40. Everything at 40. Cancel. Wait, how to go back? Okay, <laughs> that was confusing. New game. I don't hear the music though. Have the screen to make choices in an advanced dialogue. Use two fingers to open. Open pause menu or go back in menus. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, save and load. Let's make a new file save. You can save it any time by bringing out the pause menu. That's so cool. Using multiple save files is highly recommended. Hold up, guys. I'm going to pause you guys for a real quick. This better has some fucking music because, Clay's, I'm so disappointed in you then. <laughs> Wait. Hold up. Okay, guys. Uh, the reason why I had to pause there because I thought I couldn't hear it because I'm not wearing any headphones or because I'm basically using the speaker, so it's, it's at a low volume for the game recording because the game recording will record like loud sounds, so I lowered the pitch. But, you know, I thought I couldn't hear it, so I can hear the, something. Where am I? Is this outer space? No, it absolutely can't be. I never survived it in a world, in the void. I scan my surroundings. What I see, should it be in a, in a possibility? A luminescent nebula gazes back at me. It twinkles, dancing across the sky. It's beautiful. But I'm not here to stargaze. As I take in this scenario, I notice some key things. My feet are not on solid ground. I appear suspended. And for some reason, I'm able to hear and breathe. Those are the two things you can't do in space. I count this as a blessing and focus on breathing. There were exercises I could use to calm myself down. One, two, three, four, five. Before I can count any higher though, I'm interrupted. At the moment, I realize I'm not here by myself. I feel a hand rest upon my shoulder and I shiver. I expect to feel fear, but a rush of calm overtakes me. Hello. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a sh that was like unexpected music coming in. Hello, and welcome to the Ark. 
This is a very special place, you see. Only a select few are allowed to be here. This is home to those touched by fate, imbued with the power most would call fiction. Others have come, but now it's, it's your turn. First and foremost, I require your name. Something to enter in the annals of time. We must ensure that you aren't forgotten. Obviously, I'm gonna put my name, guys. So, it looks like I can put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters, guys. So, I'm just gonna put my first name. This is an interesting typing. Haley. Okay. Haley, huh? It has a nice ring to it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be. You'll, I'm sure you'll be remembered. My name, you ask? I'm afraid that's not important. No one will remember me after this. Your presence here, or portends a grand fate. Not just for you, but the universe too. That is the purpose of those who come here. To that end, what else do they call you? Your surname is just as important. And out of a curiosity, I must know. They call me Candy, Mr. Candy. <laughs> Haley Candy. Hmm. Very well. The pleasure is mine. In giving me your name, the deed is done. Your service to me in the Ark is pledged. But do not worry. Be not a slave. Your service rewards you with a power. Something that most would kill to achieve. Others must bend to the rules of the world. But for you, the opposite rings true. You're no longer a victim of circumstances. When you make a choice, reality will bend. Your, your every whim will fall to your lap. The universe now accommodates you. This is the power granted to you by the Ark. This is the power granted to you by me. Oh, it appears that you're fading away. Do you long to return to Earth? I understand. There is fear in the unknown. I will find you again soon. And perhaps then, we can talk a little more. Don't be scared, Haley. I mean no harm. I feel the rush of speed as I'm shot back into my body. It was almost as if my spirit momentarily left me. Who was that man? And just what was that arc? I scratched my head in the state of her sheer confusion. It definitely wasn't a dream. I know that for sure. When you wake up from a dream, you know it wasn't real. You laugh it off, continue with on your life through life. That's not the sensation I was feeling right now. I tried to ground myself in reality. I take in my surroundings, the noises, and people. I focus on my destination, Tokyo, Japan. I feel myself calm down, slowly but surely. The anxiety starts to replace itself with excitement. Though, many would argue that what the difference is. Who didn't dream of going to Tokyo in their lifetime? It had to be in the bucket list of millions of people. And it was the first of many places that I'd visit. On what would surely be the best year of my life. I sit there, holding the armrest with the firm grip. It, would, it wouldn't be too long until I figured out how wrong I was. Chapter 1. The Calm Before the Storm. I tried my best to maintain my composure. A can of pop star held my firmly grip in my grasp. I wasn't one to drink any drinks so leisurely, but I picked it up. What you might call it an addiction. 
For a little bit more context, I'll say this. Popstar was the leading brand of energy drink. In fact, it was almost as popular as soda. It had a full endorsement from a famous pop idol. A contest was held to coincide with this idol's new tour. Two special cans were thrown into the wild. Those that found them got to travel with the tour, almost like a golden ticket from an old childhood stories. The contest made the drink skyrocket in popularity. It took the world by storm, a cultural phenomenon. The chance to live a life of luxury was hard to pass up. In case you didn't know, the name of the idol was Clay's. Wow, Clay, you had to do that. You had to do that for yourself. You had to put yourself in this game. Really, really, you had to put yourself in this game. So when I say I picked up, it's not so sorry about being so mean. It's just that uh, I shouldn't say anything. I don't know. There's probably like people that put themselves into games like that. So when I say I picked up something of an addiction, that might actually be the understatement of the year. The odds of winning were literally in the billions, so it took a fair amount of chugging in the order to win. I asked myself if it was worth it, but that's subjective. At least that's what I told myself in between jitters. Being one of the lucky two came with its con consequences. That's what the media called the prospective winners. Before I can continue thinking, I interrupted. Someone walking down the aisle has a nasty fall. They brace their descent and land on the, on the seat beside me. That takes a special kind of skill, doesn't it? He quickly rises to his feet, wearing a look of panic. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I nod my head. It's not the end of the world. Aside from a minor frighten, everything is fine. Although, maybe you can talk to pass the time. It was starting to get boring sitting by myself. First time on a train? Don't know what came over me. I just got dizzy and then BAM! Someone like... <laughs> sounds like someone has a case of vertigo. I apologize again. Sorry for intruding. I really am. I tried explaining to him that everything is fine. But he seems to think he's committed an awful crime. Before you can respond, an alarm sounds loudly. Your choices will affect. They can also change the flow of the story. The train comes to a screening halt. Mechanical failure, other. That's not good. Oh no, what was that? Are we going to die? I can't help but snicker at that. He's clearly one of those catastrophic thinkers. Good thing I, I brought a crunch. Now I can be in power if we're stranded. He goes to rummage through this bag. A bit of bookworm too, isn't he? I decide to just sit back and wait it out. In situations like, like this, there was nothing else to do. I try and think of how I could pass the time. It might be a while until we were our mobile again. I can't use my phone for anything other than text. The data charges while abroad were a death sentence. But every everybody back home would already be asleep. There was quite the time difference at play here. My phone vibrates and I got and I go to look at it. Almost as if it knew I was thinking about it. It's Rook. The man I'm meeting at this train station. Are you almost here? I can't wait all day, you know. He's wondering where I am. I'm not sure what to say. Should I play it cool or just let him know we're stalled? I tell him that not much longer now. No point in having him worry over nothing at all. This will likely resolve itself momentarily. He seems happy at my response. Good to hear. You know I don't like standing a long period of times. Much better than having him worry, blah blah blah. Arguably, <laughs> arguably, arguably, for the best. 
as he seems very obsessive. Oh, I guess you do now. Remember it. Or quite demanding too. But I guess he's this busy guy. Places to be and whatnot. I won't hold it, I guess. I see that the squirrel is also eagerly texting away. I put my phone back in my pocket and I recline in my seat. I wasn't exactly sure how Rook was related to Clay's, but he had to be pretty high up there. I was only given concrete details last week. I thought there would be limos and media coverage, but I was, almost, I was quickly told that this wasn't the case. I was getting picked up by a regular guy named Rook. I, would, I wonder if he would go full on cliché. With a large piece of cardboard that says Haley. Oh man, I really hope we'll be okay. My train rides are usually in incident free. Usually. But he said that this is was his first time. He seems to contradict himself without realizing it. Well, uh, as fun as awkward silence are, we should probably get to know each other. Just in case we're stuck here forever. <laughs> Oh, how fun that would be. You can call me Keela. I'm here too. Well, I'm here to see some friends. What about you? I bring you to Tokyo. It's nice to meet another English speaker. I only speak Japanese at a preschool level. I'm about to answer, but I stop myself short. I have flashbacks to when I signed that NDA. I wasn't allowed to publicly reveal where I was here. Why I, why I was here. At least not until the media made it official. But then again, what harm could it do? I like luckily never find himself back to me. Plus Kilo could be impressed who I really am. A friend would be great to think would be a great thing to have while abroad. Bitch, I wanna No, I can't if you signed a contract, the contract states you can't reveal why you're here. Because, you know, popular people like that have a strict rule. Because you, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, sorry, I can't say. I decided to stick my, to my remodels and not break the NDA. Which probably for the best. Who wants a lawsuit? If I did let out my secret and word got back to Rook, well, I'm sure there'd be hell to me. Oh, you can't say? That's cool, I guess. I'm just here to visit my brother. Nothing to hide on me end, really. I thought he said he was here to meet friends. Now he's here to meet his brother. Okay, uh, I think I remember, like, when I first recorded this without the audio, I remember this is the guy we also meet with Rook because he also won the contest. So, yes. So he's lying about his brother and his friends. So that's why he lies. Nothing to hide, huh? I feel bad that I can't tell him. He clearly realizes that I'm hiding something. I'm still really excited. It's my first time in Tokyo. Gotta hit, hit up all the maid cafes. Of course. Typical tourists. What about you? Would you ever go to a maid cafe? I heard they are just the best. Maid cafes? Those were much like restaurants in Western culture. Wherever your waitress actually stays at your table, you converse with them, play games to get, get to know them. <coughs> It was definitely a foreign concept to me. How do I respond to Kilo? You know, it's why not. We're in Tokyo, might as well. Cool. We'll have to keep in touch. I looked online at all the tourist sites. There's some great ones in down in Akiharabara. Before I can continue talking, the train moved again, and the passengers are shaking up by the sudden movement. Kila be beams in a wild smile, as if this was a major victory. Now, wow, I was scared for nothing. I didn't really last 
long at all. He sure seems like quite the character. But if we did end up going to those maid cafes, well, there'd be no shortage of entertainment. I wonder if the same could be said of Rook. More importantly, I wonder how he treat. He certainly seems like an interesting guy. For a moment, I'm glad I didn't break my NDA. I don't think I would have been able to face him if I did. I find it odd that I'm analyzing my previous actions. His actions as if I could have changed what I said and what I did. Perhaps it was that weird vision I had. I can't control my own destiny or something like that. What a rid ridiculous thing to comprehend. If I can control my destiny, I wouldn't be here. I'd probably be off summer living a life of luxury. It doesn't work like that. But there's no use thinking like that, so I stop. At that ex exact moment, a pain attacks my chest. More pain than I ever felt before. It pulses with my it pulses with my increasingly fast heartbeat. I go to clutch my gut instinct instinctively, only to find out that I can't move. Everyone around me seems to have frozen in place. I start to panic. I go to focus on my breathing like before, but I can't breathe either. I sense someone behind me, and then I feel it. The hand on my soldier again. The pain fades away and I gasp loudly for it. Is there something about this touch? I'm terribly sorry for earlier. Our meeting seems to have been cut short. Perhaps you desire to return to Earth. After all, the universe bends to you now. Am I that frightening? No, you just look very stylish, I have to say. Either way, I sense conflict within you. You think what happened earlier was a dream. Yet now, your dream stands before you. I am real. The arc is real. And the power that you have. Oh yes, it's real too. I am not here to lecture you anymore. Your words and your actions are your own. And as is the power I have given you. However, you will be asked to help me. You are not receiving this power for free, but I will let you run free for today. When I see you again tonight, I will tell you everything, and then your journey will begin. I was immediately shot back to my own reality, or at least the reality I was comfortable with. But I now know one thing for sure. That really happened. The Ark wasn't just a dream. He actually gave me some sort of power. I have no idea what to think right now. The confusion inside me intensifies. It's like millions of voices are fighting in my head, trying to make sense of everything that happened. Hey, are you coming? Keyleth stands before me. His luggage in tow. I notice that I'm also standing up. It appears that my body has moved on its own. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> Almost like something momentarily took over. Did I say something wrong? Gosh, I need to wash my mouth. I tell him that he did nothing wrong. I let him know I was lost on my own train of thought. He seems to giggle as if it was a gut pun. <laughs> stop it, Kila, stop it. I decided to take the credit for it, perhaps in an attempt to ease my inner turmoil. At last, he waited for me, and i be clueless right now. That's the last thing I want to be. Alone and confused in Tokyo, bad combination. I apologize for the delay as we exit the train. Fright looms over me for the rest of the day. Whatever happened tonight would change everything. Earlier that day, in the courtroom of Terra, a planet from far from Earth, yet closer than was known to any.
we're gonna save it there guys and once again thank you guys for watching this lovely episode of major slash minor and we'll i'll be surely come back for this video in this game and we'll do be a big series on this so once again keep on watching this series guys to see what happens and to see what choices i make in the series because they will most likely affect everything that i do and also guys if you did love this video don't forget to leave me a like a comment and a share and also guys don't forget don't forget to subscribe for more major slash minor and also guys don't forget to hit that notification bell for the next major slash minor game and my name is Kayla Candy and bye guys.